Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are getting ready for Christmas and hope you guys are having a great week. So, just stopped in to do a quick video and I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, my smoke alarm has been acting crazy. Um, yesterday it was totally going off. I wanted to do this video yesterday. But my smoke alarm decided it wanted to go crazy and uh, I don't know. So you'll hear it chirping. Um, there you go. Uh, yesterday it was just totally going off. So today this little chirping sound is a lot better than it was. And I have these really high ceilings where this smoke alarm is. So I'm going to have to try to get another ladder to get up there and uh, do something about that. So. I took the battery out, but um, it's still chirping. I don't know what's up with that, so I apologize for that. Anyway, um, I came on here to share a little purchase that I bought. Um, I got it in the mail the other day, and um, as you guys know, I'm not supposed to be buying anything, but I came across this item. It was such a great price that I kind of couldn't resist. So um, anyway, to show you what it is, it came in this box. It came from the USPS, the United States Postal Service, and it came from here. And it came from Michigan. Came from a place called Ann's Fabulous Finds. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, show you what it is. Okay, so Okay, so in the box, let's see. Came with these two things. Um this piece of paper which is um what is this? Um, this is just a sheet that says if the item is not for you, no problem, please return it. So this is just a sheet where you can uh, return the item if you're not satisfied with it. This is the name of the company, Anne's Fabulous Finds. And then there is this um, envelope that was in here and it has my name on it. So let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a um, it's a thank you card, which is really nice. It's a card that says thank you. That's a nice touch. And um, it says, Lisa, thank you. Enjoy your new gift, Anne. So that's really sweet. Nice touch. Okay, so this is what I got. This is the box it comes in. It's a Louis Vuitton item. As you can see, it has the familiar brown box, and it's nice that they um, actually have the leather tie that usually comes with it when you buy it in the store. So it came in this box with the familiar brown tab right here. And as you can see, it still has the dust bag on it. So that's cool. And in the box it has um, the cards. So, you know, the um, tells you about what the leather is and the care booklet. So those two things came with it. And that's all that's in the box. So this is the dust bag. And this is what I got. So like I said, I wasn't supposed to be buying anything, but I came across this item. It was such a great price, and um, I couldn't resist. So this is what it is. It's the Louis Vuitton Sarah Wallet in the Amarant color and the Vernie leather. And um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you know that I've been trying to decide on a full-size LV wallet. I don't have one yet because I couldn't decide on one. I couldn't make up my mind. Um, so I kind of decided to go with this, you know, whenever I was going to purchase it because I actually have um, this wallet, which you guys have probably saw in a different video, this YSL wallet. And it's actually the same configuration as the Sarah wallet. So 
since I love this wallet so much, I, I don't know, it just fits my lifestyle, the configuration of it, I figured, you know, I might as well get the Sarah wallet. So it was kind of between the origami wallet, the Sarah wallet, and the zip, you know, the zippy wallet, the zip around wallet, which I like. Um, but anyway, this one came up at a great price, so I decided to get this one, and um, that's what it is. Like I said, this is the Vernie leather, and yes, it does attract fingerprints, so that's why most people just carry like a cleaning cloth or the dust bag, and you can just wipe off the fingerprints. So that doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm familiar with that because you guys know I have the Brea bag in the same color and the same print and everything. So I'm familiar about the fingerprints, and... Um, Anyway, so this has the LV, the Fleur de Lis, and the flower imprinted on it. It's a beautiful purple, kind of like a reddish purple color. And I love this color. You guys know I love the color purple. So it has this familiar um, Louis Vuitton brass gold button right here that has Louis Vuitton written in circular pattern and when you open it it has uh, six card slots right here it has Louis Vuitton written on this little button right there in a circular pattern it was made in France which is nice and this is what the inside looks like it has two slots and it has a uh, this gold metal zipper and it also has another six card slots right here right there and it also has this uh, hidden pocket in the back so it holds a lot of stuff like this will be kind of like what it looks like when it's filled up same configuration like this one um, six card slots three here and three there another three here and three there so six back there you know like that that's what it'll look like when it's um, filled with stuff so I really like this wallet the reason that I like this style wallet is because of the six card slots that it has on the front so like how this one is these are my most used items like my driver's license my most used credit cards my debit cards just sit on the front and um, I can just open this like this without having to dig in like the back part and just get what I want like you know from this part of the wallet so that's what I like about it um, you know and um, it just suits my lifestyle I guess so this does have a LV printed on the zipper pull right there it's on both sides and um, I just really love this wallet so by buying it um, pre-loved I saved about $340 um, as you guys know Louis Vuitton wallets are pretty expensive at least in my opinion they're pretty expensive it's almost like buying a, a bag you know you might as well be buying a bag they're kind of so expensive you know at least the full-size wallets are so I don't know that's another reason why I hadn't bought one um, couldn't make up my mind I didn't want to spend that much money without really being that certain so anyway um, this was a great company I asked them you know the condition of it was said to be in excellent condition um, it looked like it was practically new which it does, you know, this is my first time actually seeing it. Um, it looks basically new. And, you know, I asked them back and forth a few questions. I saw the pictures on the website, and I asked them to send me a few more pictures because it said it had, like, just a little bit of wear and tear on the inside right here. So I wanted more information about that and for them to send me some extra pictures, which they did, which I really appreciate it. And um, so, I don't know, this is like the only wear and tear. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Like, um, 
that right there which is normal just because of the stitching right here when you close the wallet it's just gonna do that so no matter what um, you know that's gonna happen over time which I don't feel that's a big deal there's no scratches on it you know nothing you know so I think that's pretty good for saving three hundred and forty dollars and I didn't even have to pay any additional tax so alright not gonna take up any more of your time Hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.